flip, scream. There it goes. <laughs> Start recording. There it goes. That's so neat. Stop recording. Shut down. That is wicked cool. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, this is going to be a super quick video today. I got uh, a new toy in the mail and I wanted to test it out. It is the DJI Osmo Action. So, the Osmo Action is exciting for a couple different reasons. Um, it's basically a GoPro, um, but it's got a, a, a few different features. Um, quality is going to be about similar. It looks like it's going to be a little sharper image quality, which is nice, a bit different color profile. Um, but the big thing I was looking forward to was improved audio. Not only overall improved audio, but uh, wind noise reduction. And right now I'm outside. I'm actually using the Osmo Action. Anyway, I'm outside today because it's a little windy and I wanted to do a wind comparison. This is not going to be an in-depth review. I'm not going to go over specs. I'm not going to do, you know, super amazing picture quality tests and all that. There are so many YouTubers out there that do an amazing job at that. Um, I really wanted to kind of test this out for my own purposes um, and then kind of share those results with you all because maybe you're not interested in, in all the hyper technical stuff. Maybe you just want to see, does it look good? Does it sound good? Is it worth the 350 that DJI is asking for it? Um, so anyway, uh, hopefully all this turned out good. I'm not going to edit the color. I'm not going to edit the audio. So you're going to see exactly what it's like out of camera. Cause I think a lot of people don't want to spend the time doing that. Um, I mean, a lot of people that, that are going to be putting their content out on YouTube and, and, and have a channel and all that, of course, we'll spend our time doing that. But for most people that just want to go out and, you know, record themselves and their friends and their family out doing fun stuff, they just want it to look good and sound good with minimal effort. So that's what I'm hoping this uh, Osmo Action does. I think it's going to, um, just in the little bit I've seen already. But, um, you know, let's find out for sure. We got some bees down here in this lavender. Let's see how close we can get. There we go. There's some wind noise. Let's see how much that gets picked up. There we go. There's some wind noise. Let's see how much that gets picked up. Oh, there is a bee. Let's stand back. That's all right. Oh, there is a bee. Let's stand back. That's all right. Okay, so we are testing this. Um, it got a little windier out tonight and it's kind of a twilight hour. Mm -hmm. So I thought we'd kind of take a look at the low light performance here as well as get uh, some windier conditions. It is a little breezy with the storm moving in. Yeah, let's see. Just a little bit. Of course, now that we're out here, the wind has died down some. Well, that's okay because the crickets are really loud. They are, yeah. I don't even know if those are crickets or cicadas. It tickles me that we have a donkey in our backyard. Yeah, and it's not me. <laughs> I'm not the only jackass in town. It tickles, tickles me that we have a donkey in our backyard. Yeah, and it's not me. <laughs> I'm not the only jackass in town. So, here's a good breeze coming up. Yeah. I wonder if it'll mask any of the audio when you're talking over the wind. That's a good test. So, 
So, here's a good breeze coming up. Yeah. I wonder if it'll mask any of the audio when you're talking over the wind. That's a good test. So, so that's going to be it today. Uh, I think we got a little bit of video, a little bit of audio. I hope there was enough wind noise in there to kind of give everybody an idea of how these two things compare. Um, I did have the wind noise uh, setting enabled in the Osmo Action. Uh, as far as I know, GoPro doesn't have anything like that, so that's okay. Um, but uh, wind noise has definitely been something I've struggled with with the GoPro and the Osmo Pocket as well. So. Um, speaking of the Osmo Pocket, I did test the mic adapter for the Osmo Pocket. It does not work as of today, which is May 20th, 21st, something like that. Anyway, as of today, it doesn't work. Um, hopefully it will soon, but uh, that's all I got. Uh, I do like this Osmo Action. It's a, you know, it's a nice looking camera. It feels good, solid, um, very quick to boot up, very easy to use. The menus are, seem a lot more intuitive. I love the front screen. I mean, right now, being able to frame this shot and know where I'm at, it's uh, it's nice. It's very, very nice. Um, and I think the audio is going to sound a lot better, at least from the little bit I heard. Um, I like the video. I think it's sharp. Uh, the GoPro video also looks very nice. I, I have rarely been unhappy with my GoPro video. So um, as long as the Osmo can meet or exceed that, I think that it may replace the GoPro as my go-to camera. <laughs> anyway, um, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, if it was helpful. Um, so consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff that we do. It's not just uh, product reviews and, and stuff like that. We've got our travel vlogs and cooking and all sorts of crazy stuff. So anyway, um, we will see you next time and thank you so much for tuning in. Okay. All right, how are the strawberries doing? Oh, these ones are ready to pick. Not quite, but they're getting there, huh?